I really want to watch this our men falling behind you. Can I ask you a question though? Or Let me just skip around. Question. There's more world leaders who are male and typically I think Good, leadership... that's a good thing. Women should not be positions of extreme leadership like president. Come on, who are they? These people aren't real people. Come on. Are you trying to get a podcast like with the... Uh, get a red pill podcast money? Etc. Etc. Because we're too emotional. I'm Bro, feeling a lot of come emotion. on. You can't really. This is the weirdest one. When you find these women who are like, I guess you would just call it uh, eternalized misogyny, but like, I don't believe that they actually think that. Right? I think they're just doing. They like the attention it gets them. They like to attract these weird alpha men with this kinds of like silly 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 shit wait the dudes are all feminists and the women are all anti-feminist what the fuck what are they finding these people what the fuck what the fuck what did they go over to the daily wire and just scoop up all the women what's the weirdest premise i've ever seen agree step forward women have more privileges today than men jesus she said step forward not jog to the fucking exit we I get it went back and forth on this one uh, thinking about the difference between more and different i think women have distinctly different first of all the label of anti-feminist femi feminist on face value is insane like you can agree, you can disagree with certain tenets of feminism, and there's like new age feminism that has some pretty extreme ideas. But the label anti-feminist, that's not serious. That's that's stupid. What does it mean to be an anti-feminist? You're just against women. We want we want to go back. We want women to stop voting. We want women to stop working. I mean, what does it mean? privileges than men have but with this new feminist movement that is arising more of the third fourth wave we are finding i think that women are placed and pedestalized above men in a lot of ways uh, there's affirmative action hiring and scholarships where women sometimes even regardless of academic standing or achievement are prioritized above men but men also have different privileges that they get to access I, I struggle to say more but i think i do agree with the feminist movement now there is more if you are born into this life with a vagina you inherently have 10 times more privilege than a man from the time they you hear crying about men not having power she's just trying to get this woman's seriously she just like into dudes that hate her she just has like a She's got some kind of kink for dudes that fucking hate her. Do women have more privilege than men? Do women have more privilege than men? I mean, in what way? Like, I, I wish they'd be more specific. Privilege. If you're talking about, like, the the job market, opportunities earnings and stuff like that it does seem that in general men do get she's a pick me that's it that's exactly the 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 phrase i was looking for it seems that women do get overlooked more often than men you want me to ask chat gpt but then when it comes to like dating and sex and stuff I guess I can see uh, some, but that that's just the way life is, man. I mean, because they don't, but then I don't even know if that's true. Is it, is it really that men are just willing to fuck anyone that will let them? I mean, is, are, is it really like that shallow? <laughs> Let's ask ChatGPT. Someone says, Ethan, do you really have to ask? Well, I'm trying to genuinely think this through. Like, I, 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 I want to understand exactly what they're claiming here. Let's ask ChatGPT. Would you say that in today's society, women have more privileges 
understand men. And I know what it's going to say. It's going to say, you know, men and women experience life in different ways to say one has more privilege than the other, which is true, right? That's the true answer. It says it depends on the context. I agree. In some aspects, women have made significant strides towards equality and may even be perceived as having privilege. For example, in education. Wow, what a privilege to work in education and make no fucking money. Like the hardest job in the world to make like $40,000 a year. For example, in education, women now make up the majority of college and university students. Okay, that part, right. Right, I heard about that. And higher learning institutions is becoming like overwhelmingly women because men are just not, I, they're better students or I don't know. There's some phenomenon going on. Additionally, there are numerous organizations and initiatives aimed at supporting women in various fields such as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. However, it is important to note that gender inequality still persists in various aspects of society. For example, the gender pay gap continues to be a significant issue in many countries, with women often earning less than men for the same work. Moreover, women are underrepresented in leadership positions, both in public and private sectors. In summary, this is a, actually a pretty concise answer. In summary, while some progress has been made towards gender equality, it's difficult to definitely state that women have more privilege than men. Different individuals may perceive the issue differently. Actually, I that's interesting. That's a pretty good answer. And it's like I the premise that these women are like, we need to roll back women's rights. It's crazy. I think the normative position is that men are used to being first in line and getting what they want. White men, you know, like this is their birthright. Like I get the fucking promotion. I get the goddamn house on the corner. And now, not only do you have women coming in and competing for these jobs, you also have, like, minorities, black people. And these white motherfuckers are like, goddamn, dude. This used to be my world, and now that it's more equal, it feels unequal because the status they're used to is extreme privilege and so equality feels like uh, an extreme disadvantage is sound makes sense to me our little girls are always like doted on and, and you're so pretty and cute very they're, coddled they're coddled yeah. right as, as they should be you know they're, yeah. they're we want that feminine nurturing energy in them you can kind of be a degenerate woman and have a hot body and be a millionaire on OnlyFans. Men don't have that privilege. Now, women don't Okay, have so we're giving... <laughs> women are privileged because they can do OnlyFans. The fuck? The fuck? Have to like work to get a guy. They're just hot, and then they get guys come to them and spend their resources on them. A man has to prove himself. He has to build a body. He has to make money. He has Stupid. to. Stupid. What what percent of women are doing OnlyFans? Like she acts like this is like a sizable portion of women are walking around like I'm just a millionaire, absorbing all the men's money in the world. It's so it's such a weird, dumb fucking point. That's. That's privilege? What the fuck? Shut up. I mean, it's always been that way. Women used to be strippers. I mean, does that mean privilege for them? Because stripping is a pretty high-paid job in some places. You know, it's like, what the fuck? It's so stupid. Influence. He has to become a protector, a provider. Women just have that, naturally, by just having a vagina, as well, That's why it's frustrating, because the feminist movement has been all about women acting like they don't have rights and acting like they have it pretty hard in the modern day world. I can't think of a single thing that I don't have that- Guarantee that this girl's like hardcore Christian fundamentalist. This is straight girls defined shit right here. That a guy 
has or that you know, they only have. I would say the one thing I would have. say is this again, it's so fucking narrow minded. You go, if I'm not personally affected, that means that systemically on the whole, there's no problem. I mean, what I'm hearing is that you are so short sighted and uncaring and narcissistic and self focused, you can't possibly conceive of a world that's different than yours. Do you think? That's mm -hmm. the only thing that I would say is that women are disadvantaged from, by nature, women are not as physically strong. I mean, you're physically strong, but as physically strong. I'll take it. Uh, okay. great <laughs> biceps. And men just are. And if you're walking down a dark alley as a woman, you're, you're going to feel some type of way sometimes, That's right? That's why we need guns. Well, there you go. Girl, you just literally described one of the problems that women face. I don't think, it, you know, we should try to make women feel more comfortable. They shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like we as a society should strive to make uh, a world where women aren't as scared to walk by themselves at night. That's fucked up. Like I don't ever walk around at night like scared that someone's going to come assault me. That's a big deal. That's that's a huge difference in terms of the way I live my life and the way you live your life. That's a big fucking difference. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, like the judicial system. When it comes to, let's say, domestic dispute, if a woman calls the police, they automatically show up, arrest the man. This the Duluth model, I think is how you pronounce it. And that's already in place. It's not necessarily like a right or anything, but it's certainly in all of the police departments. Is if feminism is all about equality, why would you automatically arrest a man when they- Yeah. I don't know a lot about this, but from what I've seen, there is actually some truth to this, that the legal system and the family courts are, are hugely uh, biased towards the women. And, you know, if you think that through, it's fucked up now. I mean, you know, if you're a dad, those are your kids, those are your family. But if you think it through, it's like 50 years ago, the men worked, the women stayed home and took care of the kids. So it's like a, it's a relic. It's a, it's a layover from this kind of, this kind of world that apparently they're longing to go back to, you know, but I, I think, I think they might be right about this one, that, that it's, a, it's unfair the way that the courts uh, favor women in family court. They arrest him. His name is in the newspaper automatically. The fact that a woman can say yeah. Jane Doe and she doesn't have to put her name out there, what skin in the game is there? And there's so many- Let me ask ChatGPT. Are women, uh, how do I say this? Are women favored statistically in family court over men? Statistically, it's been observed that women have been more favored in family courts, uh, particularly when it comes to child disputes. The historical trend can be attributed to various factors such as traditional gender roles and the tender years doctrine, which suggests that young children are better off with their mothers. Or it's essential to note that many uh, countries and jurisdictions have been moving more towards uh, equitable family court system. In recent years, there's been a growing emphasis on the best interests of the child and a shift towards joint custody or shared parenting arrangements. Both parents are actively involved in the child's life. This approach recognizes the importance of both parents and child's upbringing and development. It's also important to consider that each family court case is unique. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's to say that there's a, there is a, uh, A favoring to women in family courts over ch uh, custody disputes. I do think it's getting better, though. You know, it's definitely something that that is improving.
instances of that. I know men personally who have had domestic violence within the relationship with children involved, unfortunately. And the, you know, the woman attacked the man in front of the child, and he's still, I know two instances personally, and he's still fighting to get the child back. That's from the Me Too movement. Congratulations. You guys got that. Hold on. What it the fuck did you just say? Let me go back. Attack the man in front of the child. Newspaper automatically. The fact that a woman can say yeah. Jane Doe and she doesn't have to put her name out there. What skin in the game is there? And there's so many instances of that. I know men personally who have had domestic violence within the relationship with children involved, unfortunately. And, the you know, the woman attacked the man in front of the child and he's still... I know two instances. Okay. Girl, you are dumb. Like, the... <laughs> personally and right, this video is annoying people are just let me hear from the dudes around our mental health where we can't yeah. talk about it and the suicide rate goes so up I'll we are in a patriarchal system no, that's, let me that tell you, is let me the, tell you. those so are the those way, are the bounds we are within currently there, there's a that's lot toxic of, masculinity Mason complete his point i'll encourage uh, you to let the other person finish the point and then of course you can take it forward but let them talk um just the Real quick, thing. the systemic structures we are in yes. are patriarchy. That is what has caused men mm -hmm. to have this massive stigma mount around mental health Sorry. where we don't feel empowered to reach out. Men tend to not go to therapy. That leads to suicide. That leads to all of these big things. That's not caused by feminism. That was happening well before so, the feminist movement hold on, hold on. came into these Let new waves. There's a lot of um, psychiatrists, psychologists, and uh, economists, professors, all these people coming out saying that the actual psychology department girl what the fuck did you just say you literally just made shit up there's all these serious doctors and people and they're all come together and they said psychology is becoming too feminine cite that please is feminized I know, I no, know. I'm, it's, I'm yeah, processing yeah, yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. The psychology it's weird, department. but the way that it, everything's processed is for women. So women and men process information differently. differently. Men are like this in their brain. Women are, it's all over. And like, what the hell does that mean? Well, it's it left means brain, right brain. When, you're, you when you I process that like simple. men need to solve the problem Correct. before they can process the emotion. Women are women emotional. Women react on emotion. emotion. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But so women have a tendency, not a tendency, they do better with talk therapy. That doesn't always work. What does this that. have to do with men falling behind? Female sex workers should be more respected. Professional as I can. Yeah, it's a father specifically. No, no, no. I, no? I, I don't think that I'd fail. I would have complex yeah. feelings to navigate. Yeah. On a higher level, I don't think that there's anything inherently wrong with that profession. And I respect people who do it in a way that's fulfilling to them and that brings them happiness. If someone's doing that job and it doesn't bring them joy, obviously I would not. But most of the them. women you have are to understand doing it it's not fulfilled. bringing value or happiness well, we to women. Make a distinct, a dis uh, I'm just like trying not to wrap it all into one yeah. bundle because right. there's there's gonna be exceptions I think you just want to be careful of like putting a negative label over like so many people's lives I think it is, I should think be negative though so that young daughters don't run to her and why don't we respect have we more respect, respect them for enough femininity to... these women are annoying they're just pick me's that's it they just want to go into like a cowboy bar and be like that's right I agree with you I need me a big woman hating cowboy that's just what I'm into boy we can watch Carl Tuckerson together and Joe Rogan. I'm one of the boys. That's right. Crack me open a beer.